how you guys doing? How my Facebook family doing? First of all, my my team and my family is mad at me about even responding to this. First of all, I did an uh, interview <coughs> with Deleted or Repeated. I did the interview because I'm a man of my word, man. Uh, Ricky had been trying to get me to interview for interview me for three years. I was always busy. I told him I was going to do it. I'm a man of my word. I finally did. Even his family, people work with it, didn't think I would do the interview. But I did it when I had time. Like, I get five to $10,000 for people to interview me. I, but when they can, but people can't afford to interview me, I just do it for free because it's a promotion for me. So I did the interview for him. I let him come to the social shop. Didn't charge him a penny. After that, I got a lot of real wrath. I shouldn't have did the interview with the leader Peter Ricky. It's messy. Keep a lot of wrath, a, a mess, and all that. But I like people like drama. But at the same time, that's what people do. Like reality shows, all that. But I never blackballed GD or none of that. And uh, I don't want to tell Ricky the interview. Ricky called me some like GD. So every he wanted to get interviewed. I could have said, no, nah, fuck that nigga, but I feel like, yeah, interview him, because you know why? Because I want to know why this dude was so mad at me for nothing. I never done nothing to him. I'm going to get to that video. I got receipts too. And back to Too Hot. Myron Powell, MP, the one put me on Too Hot. He said, Mike, man, I got this article. But he was telling me for two years, I was so busy. I was in California. I was in Miami. I said, when I come back, uh, we'll talk one day. And I was just putting it off, and I finally listened to him. And I like him. So after like, I listened to him, listened to him. I like, man, I like him. Let's work. So I said, I want to work with him. I really wanted to sign this dude to my label, not just my management. I had a budget about 100000 to put behind him. And uh, I put him on my mixtapes with a lot of celebrities. I ain't had to do it. I put him on like four. I put like four of his songs. I had this dude in my, my iPod now. Really liked his music. Really wanted to work with him. So I go down there. I finally get the contract. My lawyer charged me, uh, I think it was 1500 to 3500 to do my contract. That's what he charged me. My lawyers charged me for a management contract, but for an artist contract signed to my label, they charged him anywhere from 10000 to 15000 to do a, a label contract. I had the contract done. And then folks mixed that up and said I had a contract for 3500 Even Too Hot got that right. Said he didn't do the under He understood that that wasn't what that for. In the contract, about, in the, in the contract with Too Hot, I just got the contract back. I'm getting my receipts together, and I'm getting one on GD2. It, it was never a 50000 contract with BET. He's a motherfucking lie. Yes, I got my teeth knocked out. Fuck the fuck. Yeah, and I don't have no fucking false teeth. I got fucking implants, man. I got 50000 spent on my mouth. Dude, this is just a hater. He's a failed rapper that's trying to blame his stuff on somebody else. I never had a problem with dude. I just found out why he was mad at me in the video. BET never gave him about a contract. I got Ray Sherman that got signed because of me because I got him on BT uh, while I went. They don't give you no contract. And they don't. I mean, I talked to Pat Charles the other day. He's a mic. You shouldn't even get into this foolish. You bigger guy than that. But I, you got people actually believe what this dude is saying. They come to me like, man, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I hate this. I hate foolishness, man. And I'm going to send some pictures of me and Chris Lighty. He's dead. Not as 50 Cent, but Ryan Carey, all the manager, me and Theo Sadam on the lawyer. And about the contract. This dude, too far, anybody, uh, too, too, too hot, anybody know me, know me. I got an elephant memory. If you don't know me, you don't know. 90% of the people say they know me, don't we know me. If anybody know me, know I stay away from the riffraff, and I stay out of mess and stay out of, out of trouble. I went to prison one time, I said I ain't never going back no more, and I ain't never did. And that's why I stay away from people. Your hometown is your own worst enemies. It's, and like GD said some good stuff, too. Soldiers used to get in a fight with everybody. Like, they just jump on them, he used to win, he used to lose. But... Go to parades and sorry they jump on him. But a soldier never ever told me not to not to sign nobody. And then I got a company called A Plus Consultant. It ain't got nothing to do with Punch. I done made over 30 people millionaires to date. I consult labels, artists, managers, not just artists, managers, artists. I got a consultant come. I consult man labels, companies, businesses. Man, I, I be getting stuff people don't know, know what I'm doing. But these guys, man, I really tried to work with them. And this the, this, the, this the thanks I get. And Too Hot, he's so slick. He's trying to make it look like that he called. He don't know how he talked. He, that's a lie. He called me, tracked me down. He got my number. He called me, was talking to me. You know what I'm saying? He, his, his, his people truck broke down. And he want to drive a truck. But he want to drive a two weeks. Man, I call MP. They don't want the people. They don't want about to just drive for two weeks and quit. You know what I'm saying? He want to drive for two weeks and make some money to his truck. I, and I forgot to get back with him. Because it, it was no yes. So... I could have called back and said, yeah, but I'm doing 100 things. I got four assistants, man. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a second video. Not a video. I'm going to put some pictures of the office. Uh, still, though, lawyer, the office in New York. One thing about Tupac, I mean, Too, too, too Hot is so fucking ignorant, bruh. 
that he messed himself out of the country. I really wanted to go 110% behind this dude because of Myron Powell. And I'm going to put a copy of the contract. His address is deleted. I didn't have the contract. I had to get the contract sent to me because I have so many contracts done. I had to get this lawyer right here is one of the best lawyers in the country. He's Drake lawyers. He's uh, so many Post Malone, uh, 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 Eminem. Them just some of the people. This, this lawyer is worth over 200 million. And he's a good friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? And I can got this dude direct sale number. He has like a lot of sisters. And, the, and, to, and this dude, too hot, so ignorant, he, he could have called me and said, Mike, this is why I want to sign the contract. But this nigga told me, oh, man, I got this contract. Man, my homeboy said, you got this contract off of Google. So I was so fucking pissed after my been trying to give me. I just left the shit alone. I was like, fuck this nigga. I'm not finna be wrong behind it. it was, to me, it was disrespectful. So I just found out when I watched the video with the leader Peter why he said that that I uh that he didn't sign a contract. This dude is so fucking ignorant. He's so smart, he's ignorant. People like that, that's why they're gonna stay where he at. Like, he got a platform on Facebook and, and, and TikTok now, but his, his his personality, man, I ain't got nothing against dude business is being a friend's friend. His music today is not good as it was back then. You know what I'm saying? He, he got, he, like, because he changed, but he got a, it might get back better, but back then, I was like a fan. I'm listening to anybody know. I'm listening to his music every day. I was listening to GD music that so he did the diss on me. Uh, and man, it just like, and then they talking about the, my cousin, boss lady. Man, I just co signed for it. What I did on the, on the interview and lie like I signed it. A co sign is better than, than nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's right now. One of you rappers in baseball or anyway now. 50 Cent get on the thing and say, hey, man, I, this is my boy, man. He bumping hard, man. Y'all need to check him out. That's a cosign. That's not no paperwork, but that's bad. That's, that, help, that can help you out. You know what I'm saying? And this God complex, where did this come from? I ain't never thought, I don't know God. Miami stands for money is not a major issue. It ain't about money. It's how you treat people, man. And, man, I'm just like, I, I, I had to, this video been on my mind. I had to do it, man. It just don't make no sense how your own hometown hate on you, bruh. Man, I ain't been number straight up with these dudes, 100, man. And 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 then this is another thing uh, Too Hot said. He said he didn't know how he called me. Got, he didn't even call me. He didn't, know I got to, I didn't, he didn't know how he got contact with me. This nigga called me. He had been, I said, kept seeing a number blowing me. I found out it was him. You know what I'm saying? And he told me, I got some, some trucks. Them, them, that's them, them M&J trucks. <laughs> they got 200 trucks. Uh, I just be with them all the time. Them my boys. Look, check this right here, man. Yeah. Nobody even let nobody drive for no two weeks, man. And cause you trying to get that's what he said. He didn't say he wanna drive for me. He said, I'm trying to drive for two weeks till my truck get fixed. My truck broke down. That's what that was. Nobody was taking that serious because it's hard to find drivers as it is enough. Okay. He agreed agree with GD with some of the stuff he's saying about a contract. It was never a contract for fifty thousand. I'm just finding this out when I'm watching the video. Dude has been doing that stuff for marketing. Only time he gets attention is when he say something about me. This dude used to stay right by me. I ain't got no problem with it. I, I managed it, man. I was trying to help him out. Then he told me some soldier boy, my boss. Man, soldier boy don't tell me what to do. Soldier, and soldier boy ain't never hated on nobody, basically, but the niggas that tried to jump on him, or niggas that he got to fight with, he ain't never hated. He just want to stay away from that, man. Every rapper, if somebody get big, they mostly get killed in their hometown, bro. I still come to base when I can. I was down there at a track meet last night at Sopanola. Like, I ain't got no problem with it, but I just know how people is. I handle them by a long hand spoon. Tell me some get people from base, but it don't matter them where they from. This is a business. You spend two hundred thousand on the artist, if you manage them all to the label, you you trying you you trying to make a million, or you trying to make four hundred thousand. You ain't trying to lose your money. It's just a business. Just like you buy two hundred thousand worth of drugs, you trying to make four hundred thousand. Anything you try to flip, it, you spend the money, you want to make it back. The same with this music stuff. It ain't about where nobody from. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with nobody in base field, man. You know what I'm saying? It just it's stuff crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's just ridiculous, man. It, it, it just eats me up, man. And I'm, I ain't going to speak on this no more after this. I was going to do a second video, uh, interview with Ricky. I'm not even going to do it, man. I'm just going to, man, it's it just ridiculous. And I'm coming back with receipts. I got receipts on GD. We did shut the stage down. He got on there and lied about that. We did go up there. And tell, I said, what you want to do, nigga? You want to you wanna bang right now? You going to cut this shit out? He said, man, I'm going to leave it alone. We shook hands. And, and he alive. And, it, it, uh, that's on my mama and daddy grade right now, bro. I could die right now. He did say, I'm sorry, I'm gonna squash this, man. Man, it's just ridiculous. Horse was there, uh, 350 was there, uh, horse was there, 350 was there, uh, Ty J. It was a lot of people there, man. Killer J, uh, uh, they know, man, it's just like, 
and all this lying, they're just publicity and marketing. And then dude gonna tell me I don't know your God and, and dog. I'm the first dude to bring God to the baseball. Me and Black Jesus bought him to Butler Farm. Man, I'm cool. I was cool with Kobe Bryant going out of the country for two weeks at a time. How not, how that's one of the biggest celebrities. How, how you ain't cool? How you don't know somebody that's local? Man, people know my name before they even meet me. I meet people every day. So I've been following you for 10 years. Good to meet you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, I'm out here. I'm connected and respected, man. You know what I'm saying? I just try to do big, good business because I want people to do me and my family and people I know like that, man. But people always uh, get out here and try to down you about nothing, bro. Man, and you just look at you. That dude is just a hater. Everybody know him. Say so he's a hater, bro. I don't know how he can give it to my and, and cry to my. I took some food from his family. I never knew nothing about no contract. I never called him about no contract. He never held my phone. Man, this stuff is ridiculous, man. That's a whole nother video I'm gonna do though. But back, back to too hot. This dude is so ignorant, man. It just, it just, it's funny, bro. I ain't gonna say dumb, dumb as fucker. I'm just ignorant. You don't know. In a contract, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the contract. I'm gonna on the second pole. This is part two. I'm gonna just do the pictures. In the contract, is you in any kind of legal thing? You doing a contract? You got paragraphs one, two, three, four. One might have one paragraph. Two might might have. It's capitalized and have the paragraph. And it might have A, B, C, D, and E up on it. The A, B, C, D, E, you don't have to capitalize that. I didn't know what dude was talking about. So he could have talked to me about that. I really love this dude music. This is dude music. But when he said, your homeboys, my homeboys, you got this out Google, I walked away. That's exactly what he said. He ain't never tell me he Googled no address. He would have told me he Googled the address. I would have told him, hey, bro, the address, the suit number's not on there. Theodore. It's so big time and got so much money, even though it's security there, that's the midlife building that do midlife insurance. It wasn't that then, but that's the address to 200 Park Avenue. He's so big time, you can't just walk in, his, in the building anyway because it's security there. This dude said, I can see I can see the letter was misspelled. He told me I wouldn't no capital letter. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? I didn't know someone tried to look at the contract. I just got the contract today. I'm going to show y'all a picture of the contract. His address is built, it's, it's deleted out. His real name and a, a social security number, all that stuff is deleted out. It got my name in the contract. And then it's gonna have the address, you can Google this address. I'm going to send a picture with the address, but this is the building. The building has like... 10,000 offices in it. You just got to have the suit number. This dude told me he couldn't Google the address. What kind of damn phone? You got a a, a, a fucking bootleg cellular south nigga that can't Google an address? And I got pictures with me and Theodore. People don't even know Theodore side of my. This dude is so rich. This, 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 he's a mip. I got pictures of me, Theodore, and Chris Lighty. Chris Lighty died. Chris Lighty was a friend of mine. Chris Lighty managed 50 Cent, Mariah Carey, all these people that died. I got a lot of my game from him. I thought I knew everything about the game until I met this dude. So, I'm going to have a picture of this contract below. I might go live tonight at 6. I don't know. Depending on how I feel. Or tomorrow. I'm going to let y'all know what time I'm going live. But it's so ridiculous, man. Too hot. Get on there tell myself he bleeds some of the stuff GD said. This is ridiculous, man. This dude lying, bro. This dude never had a contract, man. He never had. He came to a couple of shows. I invited him. And too hot about the contract. He said the worst was... Uh, he said the worst was... the. He told me the contract come off Google. I'm so... I ain't to no argument with so far. I told my I said, man, I ain't studying that nigga. Fuck him. I, hey, man, he, if he come around, it'd be cool. But I, I took I took my time. I flew from L.A. I was in L.A. on Miami. I flew from there. I got the contract. I paid the lawyer to make it. I went down. I myself did it, but I didn't get my sister to do it. And I met him over there, over that street across from uh, behind the park. I remember that to the day. It was over some dope boys. Niggas was selling dope and stuff, whatever they were doing over there. He came out, gave the contract myself. And that, that man, he looked at that. Then, then that man gonna say, uh, I don't think he told me that day, but I called him back the next day or a couple hours. The man said, like the country, his homeboy said, I got the contract. I got to come off Google. Man, I was so mad, bro. I just, I didn't curse him out like, fuck you, nigga, and all that. I just, I just said, okay, cool, cool, bro. I left him. I called my ass, man, I'm done with that nigga, bro. That nigga said, I got the contract off Google, bro. I know, flew all out here, man. You've been telling me for two years to mess with this dude, man. I, I, a nigga that ignorant would know this broke. What he gonna do when he gets some money? And I really love this dude's music. Listen to his music every day. He got 350, everybody around me. I bought this dude's stuff on my playlist with all the major artists. I really wanted to put the bag behind this dude, bro. He blew it. I know people say that, but you no, know, I done work with a lot of people that you don't know. Right? Rowdy Rich, I worked with him from day one. Rowdy Rich, the box, all that bird, that came to basement to the Ricker. That's my guy. That's who Rowdy Rich was signed to. He wasn't signed to me, Bird wasn't, but 
I consulted their whole label. He had a label. They didn't, they, they didn't need to be signed. They had money. They just need the knowledge and information. And I had it. And I, I applied them with the knowledge and information with A-plus consulting and financial. All of this a tutor to any business you got. Even the president has an advisor or a consultant. So that's why I don't let people know I'm my business, man. People like this, man. It's just crazy, man. Like, this dude too hot just really blew it, man. His arrogant, cocky persona, man, got blew this whole thing. I really wanted to work with this dude, bro. I was like a fan of this dude's music because of Myron Power. They didn't even know who dude was. People come to me every day when we listen to music, bro. This nigga blew it, talking about some fucking letters with capital on the contract. You ignorant ass nigga. The letters were in capital, no spots because they didn't supposed to be capital. You don't, you don't know anything about it. Lord, ask somebody, you could have asked me that. We could have fixed that right then. I would have told you what it was. Somebody, you couldn't Google the address. You ain't going to Google it because the dude's a big time celebrity. He, you can Google it, but you're not going to find his, they're going to find the billing, but you're not going to find his sweet, his sweet suit number. What the fuck? Man, that's crazy. They ain't going to find you, you agree with some of the stuff GD said. Man, BET ain't never gave nobody no contract on Wild Out Wins. You win, you get to go on Wild Out Wins, the one on Sixth and Park. That was the prize. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't can't win no, and, and win no cut, win, win no fifty thousand. Pat ain't the type of dude. He was like, he ain't never tried to sign no artist. Man, this stuff ridiculous, man. I just wanted to come, put my piece on this man, cause man, this shit just made me so fucking mad, irritated, man. I just, but my everybody said I shouldn't have replied to this, but like it just made me so mad, man. People try to mess your name up, bro. For nothing, anybody that ever did work with me, know I do good business, man. Look at that contract. All the people I know, a road manager or somebody that work, they don't even put their name in the contract. I put Myron name in the contract. I said Myron, I'm gonna put you in the contract just so you won't feel that you're getting left out, bro. If this nigga blow up, which I think I can do with him, we're gonna make it work. But that's how God moves. So it's probably not meant to happen for that. Like Soldier, he had three managers, four managers before he got me, but as soon as he got me that week, we blew, we went up. Cause I'm connected with a lot of people. You need a manager need to be connected, respected. I got two things. I got the palm tree. Management. I manage people and get 20% of what they make. And I got the palm tree label. I signed my label. Like I had Soldier Boy at first, the contract was up. We was partners, but they went through. I manage him now. And then I heard Memphis, he was signing my label. Like different people, I done signed my label. I partnered a secret invest with another label. Sometimes I'll be signed with people who signed me, people don't even know it. I really want to sign it. I, I was going to start out with him with a management contract. I told him, I said, if it just go good, so this work, I'm going to go on and sign it to my label. I'm going to do labor and management. Back then, they told me, you can do labor, man. But they didn't know about the 360 deal. All it is, you get labor and management. You know what I'm saying? That's just business. But this dude, man, talking about the contract, the letters on the capital. I could see they were misspelled or something. I ain't know. I was boo, I was boo Basil, whatever you call the word about it, when I heard this nigga uh, lie, man. Tell me I some word. Man, we could have fixed that. As you look at this, this things I have attached below. This is the Med Life Bill. It's 200 South Park Avenue in New York. That's what Theodore Sadamon office is at. Theo Simon was one of the biggest entertainment lawyers in the world, not just United States. People don't even know him, they just heard the name. He's like a ghost. I can talk to him direct. I got, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a picture of me, him, and Chris Lighty up under here. And also, Angela, she's my office and lawyer in New York, too. I didn't know when I went on Tupac, I went on Too Hot Live. I was trying to get in to talk. That nigga wouldn't let me in. Talk. Oh, you done had your interview, man. I'm going to let you in a minute. I waited a whole fucking hour. I had stuff to do. He wouldn't ever let me in the interview so I could talk. I wasn't going to curse him out. I was just going to get some facts straight. But this is what's going on, man. Uh, I'm going to attach some pictures below. Uh, be on side tomorrow. I'll let y'all know the office is a real address. And he couldn't Google because his, his phone was ragged as fuck. Or, or the suit number was not in the contract on purpose. All right, y'all. Have a good day. I might go live tonight. I might not. Or tomorrow.